Well, my name is Tyler Zimmerman. Um, I, uh, I come from the United States. I'm an American, and uh, I, well, I was, uh, I was born in Pennsylvania, and then I went to do uh, college uh, and earned my bachelor's degree at the University of Delaware. And uh, after that, I moved to the Midwest at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, uh, and I earned my PhD there just a few months ago in, uh, in 2010. Um, and then uh, I started to look for a job, and uh, I found eventually a listing for a postdoc uh, on a Belgian website uh, in Liège, uh, in the Wallonia region of Belgium. And it turns out that my particular expertise uh, fit well with uh, the, the expertise required here in the laboratory in, uh, in Liège. Um, I, I had used the same scientific instruments, and, uh, and so uh, my current boss uh, really wanted me to come to Belgium. And uh, I had never actually been out of the United States uh, before that, except for Canada. Um, I, I had traveled the United States uh, pretty well. I had been to 43 states uh, so far, but, uh, but not to Europe. Uh, and so when I arrived in Belgium in um, October of 2010, so about uh, four months ago. Um, it was my first day in Europe, and uh, so I've been here uh, ever since. I actually did uh, find a job on the Belgian website just by typing mass spectrometry laboratory, some laboratory that that's, would specialize in mass spectrometry, I was hoping would appear in the Google results, uh, and the word Belgium also included in the search. Um, so that, uh, so that I, I found actually this job listing. And it was, it was as easy as that. I just sent an email to my, now my current boss. And uh, he responded almost immediately with a job offer. And uh, because, because my expertise matched, um, matched the, the specialized needs of this laboratory. I had to take uh, care of the visa process. And um, it took about it was supposed to take about four months, but mine took about three and a half or so, you know, which is, which is the, the average. But, uh, I mean, it could have taken up to about five months, I think. Um, so, basically, the, the first thing was to get a passport, and then the second step was to send my fingerprints off to the FBI for a criminal background check. And that requires from the FBI about 12 weeks. They got back to me in about eight weeks, so that helped. Um, and then I had to get a visa, which required submitting paperwork uh, from the United States to Belgium and having that uh, physically shipped back to the United States, and that took an additional two months. So it was, a, it was about, you know, three to four months for that process um, for me to, to, to even enter the country and have a reason to enter the country uh, and, uh, and stay here. It's, it's different, uh, of course, from the United States uh, in that, uh, well, for one thing, uh, the, the language barrier um, in Liège, uh, the town, people in the town don't uh, speak that much English, so I had to learn uh, French quickly. Um, and uh, I had only had two semesters of French, so that was uh, a little bit difficult. But actually, um, it's, it becomes easy to adjust. I mean, in, in terms of sur surviving, it's, it's just fine because uh, ordering things from a menu and stuff like that is, is not that difficult to do in French with, with a few words. Um, and it turns out my colleagues at the university speak pretty good English as well. And actually, some people do speak English in Liège. Um, but I would say that uh, the thing that I personally like about uh, Belgium the most so far uh, is the food and the, uh, the French fries, which they call frites, which, uh, which are, are really good with, with mayonnaise, although um, that's counterintuitive for Americans. Um, and, uh, you know, the beer and the chocolate, uh, Belgium is, is well known for that. Uh, and so I, I really like the, uh, the gastronomy here, I would say. I'd say for Americans that are interested in uh, coming to Europe and, and well, particularly Belgium, um, that uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, the the Belgians are are very warm and welcoming, even in Liège, uh, um, which is which is French speaking. The French have a reputation in the United States of uh, being you know not as friendly as Americans are, but actually in 
in the Wallonia region, the French are, are actually very friendly, and uh, even, even when I can't speak their language uh, fluently. And so they try to speak English with me, and uh, I can speak French with them, and it's, it's very easy.